In recent years, it has been more and more difficult to find a marriage between the increasingly complex needs of our clients that we see through the publicly funded system and the funds that are made available for these same clients through the public system. For 37 years, Crossroads Alcohol and Drug Treatment Centre has sat on the corner of Franklin and Highway 33. Now, after years of funding challenges, a loss of a gaming grant and the recent breakdown of negotiations with the main funding partner, Interior Health, the centre is closing its doors. There's, there doesn't seem to be a way out of all of the other mounting financial pressures, the, the aging buildings that we have, the maintenance uh, costs of keeping those buildings alive. Um, in, in, in turning around and trying to liquidate those, we've just run out of time. The closure means the loss of 38 publicly funded beds, which are 90% of the time occupied. It means shutting down and selling all three buildings and laying off almost 70 employees. Like I'm an addict and I've been an addict and an alcoholic for a long part of my life and having the opportunity to come here and to better myself and it's just a wonderful thing and to see it get shut down is just no good. The closure of having this close, the detox close, um, the women's centre close, I mean is, is you know, is going to put a lot of lives at risk. The centre, which has an annual budget of $3.5 million, is the only one of its kind in the Okanagan and is facing a debt of $1.3 million. And, and the reality is, is that the climate has been changing for, for years within the province of BC when it comes to residential treatment itself. So, you know, over the years we've seen other not-for-profits that have attempted to operate uh, such an intensive program as ours that have fallen the same uh, as us. Current clients will be afforded the opportunity to complete their programs, and the treatment centre will wind down operations over the next 90 days. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.